Hey guys, my name is Shauna and I'm doing Steve Cook's Bake Program. So this is gonna be my vlog. Day four today is, I'm pretty sure it's a shoulder day, uh, but we had a testing day for some arms, um, a little bit for our max uh, bench, and legs and front squats. I am a back squat lover. <laughs> um, I'm one of those people with front squats that will cross my arms over the bar um, compared to having the grip underneath and the elbows forward. It's not so much a flexibility thing for me. I can do it. It's just I feel like a little more uncomfortable. Uh, I feel like I can hold more weight when I'm crossing over, um, but like Steve said, um, it's better to have your arms underneath. So yeah, yesterday day three was an ab day, but we were going through the ab exercises so fast um, that it was keeping the heart rate up, that it was almost like cardio, which was a new experience for me. I've never really... Um, isolated a day for abs specifically. I would always do a couple exercises after my workouts. Um, and so I was definitely feeling that this morning. Getting up was a nice uh, reminder, you know. Something as simple as toes to bar. I couldn't really do toes to bar. I could do knees to chest. So um, if I could eventually get toes to bar and I see that progress, then I'm gonna be ecstatic like this. And it's just it, like I, I dripped, I sweated, it was awesome. And you know, I love feeling exhausted after my workouts and that was one of the reasons why I started um, this program in the first place. So this would have been what I uploaded to Snapchat after my first couple workouts of me dying on the floor because I was that exhausted. I'm sore, I'm beat, and this is still just the testing week, like I said. I'm even seeing more definition, even just from the past like three days, four days. It's like he said, um, you might not necessarily weigh any less, which is gonna be <laughs> kind of a hard concept to grasp as I'm trying to cut weight but you're gonna be transitioning that body fat into some muscle. So already I feel like I can see a little bit more definition um, in my arms, in my shoulders. As if I'm a figure competitor, a Canadian figure competitor, as I'm wearing my Vancouver fitness apparel. Also a brand ambassador for that, so if you want some deals, Shauna10, remember with you, S-H-A-U-N-A-10 will get you 10% off if you want to visit them. That link is going to be in the bio. You know, they have some wicked stuff, so seriously, gym sway, can't be gym sway, but yeah, back to this. Um, you can already see some more definition. Um, so competing in figures, so obviously I want a broader back and some broader shoulders. So if I can acquire and or at least while I'm dieting down, maintain um, most of that muscle um, for, for the stage, then I'm going to be one happy camper. I have competed before, so I've done the, the contest prep, the dieting down, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, but the structure of this diet is pretty interesting and I'm excited to see where it takes me because I am competing in October so it is almost the perfect length for my competition date and I figured what better way to prep for this um, show than to do Steve Cook's program especially because I was finding I was kind of at that plateau that he was talking about where you know, you you hit it and you feel like you can't get it, go any further and you go to the gym, you're just doing random workouts, you know what body part you're working out, but it's just kind of thrown together and I wanted that structure and what better way to have that structure than to do his program. You'll see some of the progress I go through um, and I mean in the end result, I'm going to be stepping on stage, so I mean it's Hopefully it's gonna be good. I can't say hopefully, it will be good. Um, this is me before starting Steve's program and these are the photos I'm gonna use for my before and after photos. I have a Facebook group that we all um, chat on and I mean that is awesome. 
I mean the positivity um, that's there and the people asking questions and um, the people who are communicating and answering just the community the the big program community that we have so far um, is amazing um, it's, it's excited to take you guys with me on my journey through Steve's cook program and to show you how sweaty I get after the workouts and to film at my gym. I'm switching gyms halfway through by the way, so I'm taking you on that move and journey with me. This is actually a journey through my life. This is a journey through the big program. This is a journey to my contest prep. So I mean people who haven't done that before and who want to prepare for a show. Um, I mean, you'll kind of see what it's like. Um, so yeah, no, I'm excited for you guys to come along with me and share this all. If you want to follow me more, um, throughout my training process, then you can follow my Instagram at Shauna Lee Fit, S H A U N A um, L E E F I T, and also there's my Snapchat as well, S E R D I E 939. Until next time, people. This is like a weekly thing, so until next week, people, I will talk to you later. I will vlog to you later see ya all right now if i could pick any supplement company i would obviously go with optimum nutrition i know grape is really hard to beat but this is awesome and today i was feeling very adventurous so i mixed some of the green apple with some of the pineapple i have no idea how it's gonna taste but it's gonna set me up for this day four workout of shoulders and I'm ready to hit it. I want these bad boys to grow. Guys, and I almost missed the best part. This pre-workout. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I love it. The watermelon. I've taken pre-workouts where they wear off so fast and or you get the tingles and then next thing you know, you use it a week later and it doesn't even affect you, this stuff. I seriously ask anyone who's tried it. It's amazing. They call it gold standard for a reason because it is gold. If you like a leprechaun that has found my pot of gold. Okay. I was literally just about to uh, head out the door to go to the gym. And then I saw this lovely thing in the mail. This would be my waist trainer. Yes. Anyone kind of actually, Guys have to have tiny waist too, but girls these days, from what goes around, if you don't wear one of these bad boys, then you are throwing first place away. So, I was wearing this bad boy and a belt before. I'm gonna try on this new waist trainer. I had one before and it didn't fit. All right, so it's in. There you have it. Bam fit. You need to wear these all the time, so I'll be working out in this working in this and sleeping in this most likely so this is my home no limits fitness it's where i work out most of the time it's amazing privately owned gym it's awesome unfortunately i am moving um at the end of august so it's gonna be hard to leave these guys their family okay so just finished my workout day four Felt super good, definitely sweated during that shoulder uh, workout. Um, oh, this is my phone, or my shoulder is hurt just holding my phone up to record this. Um, push ups are hard. You know what? I hope by the end of this I can do a lot more push ups, but seriously, my shoulder is killing from doing this. Um, Arnold Press. I used to do it all the time, and then I kind of shied away from it, was doing other shoulder exercises. Um, but no, it felt really good to fire that back up again. That's an awesome exercise. So, and I mean, come on, Arnold Press. So, okay, and anyone who saw that Instagram post of him with a cow, how good was that? That inspired my workout that day. That was sick. So here's the photo for anyone who missed it. Arnold with the cow, so awesome. Um, now just having my protein, um, the double rich chocolate, um, optimum nutrition gold standard protein. Gosh, seriously, this is like no joke the best part of my day. <laughs> Chocolate milkshake while shredding, right? Uh, and you know, post workout, optimal nutrition CMAs. 
Can you see a trend here? Yeah, I like my Owen. I'm just in like our little stretching room right now. Can you see that? This is where I do my posing, yeah, which I'm about to do. So I mean, I always do uh, posing post-workout. You know, you gotta get those hours in or minutes or whatever, however long you do it for, because um, you can never have too much practice. And I mean doing a leg workout and then practicing posing in these bad boys. Seriously, gentlemen, you have no idea. Your calves, it's like a whole nother workout. But seriously, this should be this should be a workout for guys, don't you think? Walking around in heels for a bit. Trust me, you will be sore. These these things are deadly. Just hey guys, Kate. Don't judge my bedhead ponytail going on right now, but seriously, look at what came in the mail. What? What are those? Yes. Jim Swig, Rider Wear. Um, so looking forward to trying to lift in these, and the best thing is they came just in time um, for heavy leg day tomorrow. Um, so I'm super stoked to try lifting in these bad boys. Um, it'll be fantastic. It's supposed to be a rest day today and all I want to do is go to the gym and wear these. Good morning, people. Sorry, I haven't even had my first coffee yet, but today's a big day. It is the last day of training and so day six and um, it was a rest day yesterday and my abs are still sore. <laughs> so I can feel that, and it's leg day today, so that should be fun. I'm actually really looking forward to max back squats. But um, no, I didn't work out yesterday even though I got my fresh shoes. So I'm super excited to do some max leg lifts in these. After my workout, I have to drive down to Vancouver. I got some work with Vancouver Fitness Apparel. Well, I shouldn't say really work. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We have a team dinner and a photo shoot on uh, Sunday, so looking forward to that. It's gonna be a fun time. If you guys thought I was a little cool because of my new rider wear lifting shoes, then you should see what I wear to the gym. What are those? What are those? Oh yeah, socks and sandals. At least they're Nike though. I'm starting a new trend, guys. This band wig and you wanna get on. Socks and sandals. I know a lot of people try and hate, but I think they're just jealous. Okay, so that was a good workout. Obviously, I'm sweating a bit after that cardio. Um, I started off on the Stairmaster too, and my butt killed me after all those squats and lunges. Awesome. Um, it was a giant set for legs today. It was a little hard to bounce between machines. It was a little busier today for legs with everyone else. So I was hopping between sets, but it worked. The shoes, by the way, the rider wear shoes, I just slipped it up. Amazing! I felt like I lifted more because of it. I got two, two plates of 45 aside for my max squat today. Not my PR, but definitely uh, higher than I have been doing just because I've been watching my back and my knees. They've been a little sore after I injured them a little while back, so it was nice to get up to that again. So right now we're just at the Vancouver Fitness photo shoot down at Sky Helicopters. having a lot of fun right now. All right, so day seven of the first week of the big program, the training week, we had two rest days this week. Today is a rest day, so I decided to go on this lovely hike. Uh, the following weeks to come, we only have one rest day, but I'm looking forward to the stuff we got coming up. It looks really intense, so looking forward to that. More sweaty cardio. I had a shoot with Vancouver Fit Apparel today um, down at Sky Helicopter in Pitt Meadows, BC. That was amazing. It was awesome to meet some of the family, um, the Vancouver Fitness Apparel family. It was fun times. I have a meeting tomorrow to pick out my suit, so super stoked on that. And you know, the following training days to come, so I'll keep you guys posted. All right, it's been a fun week, guys. Talk to you at the end of week two.